In this video, I'm going to be pushing my computer to its limits and seeing just how many objects or bullets I can fit into this game before Unity just stops working. Yep, it, it froze. Let's see what happens. Obviously, before I test this, I need to make a game to put the bullets in. And what better opportunity to do that than with the Bullet Hell Game Jam that is currently on. So, after reading through the theme and thinking of an idea which doesn't really follow the theme, I got to work on the game. The first thing I did was make a circle, and I gave it some dance moves. But, these moves weren't smooth enough. So, to make the movement feel natural and fluent when changing directions and stuff, I did some lerping, and it actually feels really good now. Okay, next it's time for some shoot. With some help from everyone's saviour, Brackies, I meant it shoot when you click the shoot button, and there, shoot. Done. Oh, also, because this game's gonna have a lot of bullets in it, I added object pooling, which basically just reuses objects instead of destroying them, which makes for a massive performance boost. Now, while playing around with the shooting, I actually discovered that you can make some pretty cool bullet patterns using only bullets going in a straight line. And I did some research, and that's actually a thing called curve stitching, which makes curves out of a bunch of straight lines. Oh, what? You don't care? So, with this new enlightenment, it was time to make some enemies, which shoot bullets in cool patterns. This was actually a lot easier than I thought. To make them shoot in a spiral, I just shot bullets out in lots of directions, and slowly spun the whole enemy, making up this awesome looking spiral pattern. I spent hours and hours polishing the game with art, post-processing, and animations, and I ended up making some pretty cool looking visuals and bullet patterns. I mean, I even made a sine wave. I made a really satisfying death animation thing, wind thing, and even added some very epic music from Context Sensitive, which definitely improved the experience a lot. I created three boss fight like levels, with so many different bullet patterns, it just took way too long, but anyway, I'm here now, and I finished them, so that's good. Okay, so the game's pretty much finished, and I think now it's time to test out what you probably watched this video for. How many bullets can Unity handle at once? Well. Let's see. Alright, so I'll just start fairly slowly, maybe fire rate of 5. Let's see how many bullets that is. Alright, so that's 150. Uh, I'll crank up the fire rate to 10. I continued to add more and more bullets, increasing the fire rate and number of bullets shot, and the game started to drop in frames. After a while, I finally reached 10,000 objects, and there were so many bullets that the screen was almost solid red. At 20,000 bullets, they weren't even rendering anymore, and my FPS had dropped to 0.2 FPS. That's like 5 seconds per frame. I kept increasing stuff more and more, until eventually this happened. Okay, what if I just increase this to 100,000? Uh, that'll probably do something. Yep, it, it froze. There were so many bullets that Unity literally froze, and I had to close it through Task Manager. I guess the answer to how many objects Unity, or my computer at least, can handle is 25,000, and I mean, that's quite a few. Well, that's the end of the video, so make sure you like, subscribe, and all that. Oh, also, if you're wondering where the game placed in the jam, it came 106th out of 300, so yeah.